Hello and welcome to DCSA 10. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up an approach and in order to do that the string things we need. We need to have a compass and in this case we're going to use our HSI. We need to know the bearing to the runway we want to land on and we need to know the heading of the runway that we want to land on. We're going to use the TACAN in this example to give us the bearing to the runway and it could equally have been a waypoint set up for the runway or a SPI from divert. So we're going to look at the approach geometry first because I think if we look at the geometry it will make more sense what we're doing. So we can see at the moment we're loitering south of Potty, and what we have to do is we have to get to Sanaki. We know from our charts the approach headings for Sanaki and that they're approximately 090 and 270. So from our current location we, we're not using uh, the ATC comms so we're going to choose the approach ourselves and we can see that the 09 is the easiest approach. We could be equally use 270 if we need to. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to turn turn on to our Takan bearing to a Takan station at Sanaki and we're going to track in until we're approximately 10 or 11 miles from Sanaki and then we're going to take a sharp left turn uh, of 90 degrees and we're going to maintain 90 degrees to the Takan channel and this will take us on an arc of a circle until we intercept the the correct bearing for landing in which case we take another 90 degrees and that should leave us within visual parameters to allow for a V4 approach. So we're going to get back into the pit now and set up our TACAN. And we're going to set it up for 31. And there we've got the beacon for it. And I'm going to just switch it off so it doesn't bother us. Once that's done, we're going to come out of autopilot. And Morning, we're autopilot. going to <coughs> uh, finally, sorry, we have to set up our TACAN on the nav panel. And now that we can see uh, our bearing point one needle is now pointing to our TACAN station. So that's the needle we need to be watching. It's the large one on the outside. So we need to be careful of our altitude. Okay, we're going to roll out. So now we're heading towards directly towards Sanaki. And we can see our distance is approximately 16 miles. Going to drop our altitude a bit while we're inbound. Okay, so for the benefit of uh, this approach, we need to just ignore everything that happens on the HSI except bearing point one needle and the actual compass rows and the distance. So we're coming down to 12 miles. And remember, Sanaki is dead ahead of us there. Okay, we're uh, approximately 11 miles, so let's uh, turn in to the left. I'm going to take a fairly sharp turn until we bring the bearing point needle one onto our 3 o'clock position. 
and we roll out. And we're going to, we're going to now maintain that needle on our three o'clock position. And remember, if we maintain 90 degrees to our Takan station, the distance is always going to be the same. So we should be approximately 10 miles uh, throughout this um, turn. So as we as we rotate through that um, arc of a circle, we're maintaining that distance, and we're going to intercept the approach heading. The approach heading is 090. So as we start to um, approach, you can see the the direction that we should be approaching on and the bearing point needle start to coalesce. When they get pretty close together is when we need to be turning in and we turn in until the bearing point needle is at our 12 o'clock position again. I need to be watching my altitude and we're about right to turn in. So we turn in now and bring the bearing point needle to our 12 o'clock position. and roll out we should be pretty good and yeah we're a little bit offset but it's good enough to be able to make a, an adjustment and either with your VFR or ILS and we're a good enough distance out to be able to do that we're approximately 8 miles so that's the general principle we could have continued around that circle maintaining that 90 degree offset from the bearing point um sorry from the tack hand channel and we we could have gone through another 180 degrees and would have led us on to the 270 radial and we could have taken the approach um as you understand the geometry you'll find that you don't have to do these um these uh circle approach you can actually cut corners and make a more direct offset. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.